Welcome to Electro Online. Here we have another optics problem out of the JE advanced test and it does deal with Snell's law and the concept of what happens when light enters a medium that has a different index of refraction. So here we have a wavefront of light that enters a piece of glass which is straight on one side and curved on the other side. So we know that the index of refraction of glass is larger than the index of refraction of air. It then emerges the glass on the other side, but notice the other side is, is curved. And the question is, what will the wavefront look like when it emerges on the other side? A, B, C, or D? So, first of all, we realize that since the light enters the glass perpendicular to the surface on the left side, the glass will not experience any refraction. It will go straight across and enter the glass this way. So it will continue in the glass in this direction. And then we realize that the different parts of the wavefront will reach the other side at a different time. Notice since it's much thinner here, the, way the light will reach that much faster than will reach over there. We also know that the velocity inside a medium that has an index of refraction that's different from air is equal to the speed of light divided by the index of refraction which means that the light traveling through the glass will travel slower than the light traveling through air and then of course I should have made this to look exactly the same on both sides because I think that's what drawing shows so let me kind of repair it a little bit like that so that's about the same distance right there then realize that the light over here will only travel through the medium for a short period of time, then it reaches the air, will, but which means that the, the light will travel much faster here than the light that travels in here. So it will get further ahead than the light traveling there when it comes out. So at some point when it finally emerges after these points, the light here will be behind here. So essentially you can see that the light will be ahead over here, behind over here, ahead a lot over there, behind over here, and ahead over there. So that will be then the emerging wavefront on this side will look like this. Now the question is which of these four possible answers looks like that? It looks like A. A is the correct answer because the wavefront will look exactly like that simply because it takes less time to travel this way through the glass and then this way through the air. It takes more time to travel all distance through the glass. So by the time the light finally reaches this point, the light that's already out of the glass will have gone much further than that. There's another aspect that we need to think about, which means that when a, the light goes across a boundary that is not perpendicular to the direction of the light, that it refracts. So you can see that over here the light will go straight, over here the light will go straight, and over here the light will go straight, but what will happen over here? Well, take a look like this. Draw a line perpendicular across the boundary, then have the light come in this way, and so this would be the incident angle, theta sub i, and then of course there will be an exiting angle, and when light travels from an index of refraction which is greater, to an index of refraction which is less, the light will bend away from the normal, which means the light will bend this way when it comes out this way. So you can see that the light will go straight here, will bend this way, kind of go straight, and then will bend this way. So you can see that the light will have changed direction when it comes out here, and go straight when the boundary is perpendicular to the direction of the light but I don't think that has a particular effect on what the waveform will look like when it emerges, that it has more to do with the fact that light takes more time to travel in the portions where the glass is versus the portions where the air is. And when I do that, when I take that as a consideration, I did pick the correct answer. So that must have been the reasoning that they had in mind on this particular question, which isn't always clear when you read the question. Yes, you could have figured this out in 30 seconds. Really? <laughs> it seems too easy, isn't it, for a J advanced question, but again, it's how you think about things, and sometimes that's all it is, is how you think about it. All right.